We are back with our breaking coverage today. Bob Mueller indicting two individuals and securing a guilty plea from another in the Russia probe. It has been a day of fast-moving events. One of the big questions is how is the Hillary Clinton team reacting to this news about things that impacted her narrow election loss? Uh, I'm about to be joined by Ron Klain, a longtime Democrat operative, and Philippe Reines, uh, who worked directly for Hillary, even played Donald Trump. Uh, gentlemen, this is planned, so stay with me, but I have something first. And that is breaking news from our own Carol Lee with a big story separate from all this about how Russian content reached people on Facebook. You've got the news and the numbers. Go ahead, please. Sure. Well, all right. This, what we've learned is that these, this content uh, promoted by Russian-backed fake Facebook pages reached 126 Americans. Now, what's significant about that 126 is... 126 million? 126 million Americans, yes. So, it, essentially, if you are an American, particularly one of who is of voting age, the chances that you saw Russia's attempt to interfere in the presidential election are pretty high. And what else is interesting about this is that when you, Facebook says that it was just 29 million Americans who saw directly this content from these Russian account, Russian pa Facebook pages, but then that multiplied because people liked it or they shared it or, you know, they they otherwise um, moved the content on Facebook. And so then it just spread. And that underscores the problem that um, they're facing in terms of how you rein this in in future elections. Uh, it's fascinating. And on a day when there's so much news flying around, you've got uh, mm -hmm. this original report as we look ahead to seeing uh, Facebook and these other companies testify this week with a lot of pressure coming down, as, including, as, as you've reported, uh, from Senator Dianne Feinstein, who says she's moving beyond what Republicans are willing to do. So I know you'll stay on right. it, and I hope we could talk to you again this week uh, with a lot going on. I now turn to Philly Brynas, a longtime advisor to Hillary Clinton, as well as Ron Klain, who served in senior roles in the Obama White House, Chief of Staff to Vice President Biden, uh, two Democrats with a lot of experience. Philippe, uh, what is your reaction as someone who was inside the Clinton campaign to what we learned today? Well, it's just uh, another day, if you're talking about the social media pages. Uh, it's very hard. Uh, I think we, both Ron and I, and everyone who worked for Secretary Clinton, the campaign, uh, you sensed things going wrong on this front during the campaign. You don't fully appreciate how badly. And with every day that goes by, we learn something new. This is obviously a very tough problem for the social media companies to get a handle on. Sure, but I mean, but beyond that, have to when, get you a look at, when you look at uh, not only indictments, but you look Conviction. at your, your opponent having a former aide plead guilty and agree in court under oath about his contacts to get dirt that would have been illegal had he gotten the emails on your, on your boss. How does that make you feel? Uh, on the one hand, too little, too late. But on the other hand, justice looks like it'll be served. And um, the second is where we are, and that's what's most important. And I think Donald Trump and his staff find himself in a situation that they've never been in, where uh, they're so used to working the ref and muscling and bullying people. And now they're up against someone in Bob Mueller who is impervious do you to think that kind the evidence, of bullying. Do you think the evidence in court today, unsealed today, uh, adds to the record to suggest that part of the reason Hillary Clinton lost the Electoral College while winning the popular vote was because there were efforts to cheat? Absolutely. Today uh, compounds and reinforces the idea that the Russians were actively trying to meddle in our election to Donald Trump's benefit. What you keep hearing, whether it's with Don Jr. or Jared Kushner or George Papadopoulos or all of them, is that they tried and tried and tried. They didn't just try once at Trump Tower. They kept looking and looking and looking. And I think we're going to find out that they found their way in to the Trump organization. Uh, Ron, I'm going to read again from this guilty plea and confession no. from a former Trump aide, because we don't usually get this, uh, say, I don't know, about a year after a campaign is done. Someone saying uh, in court here in his plea, he was told the Russians had obtained, quote, dirt on then-candidate Clinton, including, quote, thousands of emails. Um, this was back in April. That dirt and those thousands of emails from the Russians were not widely known or reported at the time, Ron, giving credence to the idea that the Russians had special knowledge that they were successfully yeah. getting to offer Trump aides in meetings.
Well, you know, uh, Ari, all this stuff was laid out by Secretary Clinton in our campaign in 2016, and people doubted it. People said it wasn't true. And the Trump campaign and Donald Trump's denied it. And day by day, we're seeing that those denials are falling. So one denial was that oh, WikiLeaks had this stuff, or maybe some 400-pound guy in New Jersey had this stuff, but, uh, but, but the Russians didn't have it. So now we have a guilty plea saying that the Russians had these emails in, in April and were trying to traffic them. And so there's one more uh, stone in their defense of this that's that's fallen. Uh, and so, you know, the, the evidence keeps mounting. Uh, Carol's report about the social media stuff adds to that. 128 million people saw this material on Facebook. If just 1% of those people were influenced by it, that's 15 times more than the margin of defeat in this race. Hmm. So, you know, the, the evidence continues to mount. Uh, the, 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 the excuses are falling away. Uh, and they all point to, obviously, a lot of trouble for Donald Trump and his former associates. Uh, and meanwhile, there are attacks on, on Hillary Clinton uh, yeah. as this was all getting to a boiling point. Here was uh, Fox's Jean Pirro this weekend. It's time, folks. It's time to shut it down, turn the tables, and lock her up. That's what I said. I actually said it. Lock her up. Ron, your response. Well, that's just uh, the jackboot voice of authoritarianism. I mean, the idea that the president would shut down a lawful investigation, uh, turn the tables, is just simply a word for trying to use raw power uh, to then imprison his opponent. And, uh, you know, that is definitely a way of governing. It's the way of governing in North Korea, though, not in the United States of America. And I don't care if you voted for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. That kind of comment should be highly offensive to every American. Yeah, it's and it's fascinating coming from people that are known to be communicating with the president or allies of the president. Thank you, Ron Klein. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.